A woman's voice should not have a different value from a man's voice. Human beings should have their own voices. A human voice means collectivity, leave no one behind. Human voice also means protection. Human voice means power. The power that uh, women have is that uh, they have voice to say what is their wish. So, a woman's voice cannot be silenced. For the 1999 constitution, which was reviewed in that year, it has not captured issues of women let alone women with disabilities. Beautiful policies, legal frameworks, documents on the rights of her citizens. But the issue is, those documents are incomplete without capturing every group and interest of this group in those documents. Issues of the elderly, the pregnant women, children, persons with disabilities, young people, women are not really well captured in these policies. And in August 24th, 2020, a National Disability Commission was established. So we have made some progress. There are many countries in Africa that do not have a policy on disability, but Nigeria has. The issue now is the implementation. What about a woman who uses a wheelchair? She was pregnant. She went for antenatal. And the next thing, she fell off from the staircase. Immediately, she lost her pregnancy at the entrance of this hospital. So government needs to really quickly put measures in place to ensure that the mental health of women and girls with disabilities are being considered in their policies and projects. Doing that will reduce the number of women with disabilities that are suffering from mental health. Over 20 million citizens with disabilities in this country face those challenges. Inadequate funding for organizations of persons with disabilities to be able to keep speaking up, to keep being a voice on issues of persons with disabilities. So we want to see inclusivity in every sector is it our infrastructures our transport systems our educational systems our health sector our economic empowerment programs a percentage should be reserved for persons with disabilities <laughs> 